just fueling up for a run. I'm sorry. I really want to talk to the camera, but I have no breath. That's just over halfway. And I still, I still can't catch my breath. That's my run done. I want to use it as a bit of a fitness test. 1.6 miles and 8 minutes 23 average pace. That's pretty good for me. I don't think I've ever done under a, under 9 minutes. So that was a shorter run than I would normally do. And I was pushing, I was, I was going hard. Now this is certainly not fast, but it is a start. It's the start of me getting to the point where that I'm fit enough to get back on doing events again. It is faster than I've done before, but it's a shorter distance than... So to try and compare that to anything I've done so far would be a bit daft. Because I know I can go faster, I've got, I've got a goal next time I go out. Each time I know I can. I know I can go a little bit faster, I can push a little harder. Which is ultimately what it is all about. This guy is pretty much painted and ready to go. Very happy with that. Yeah, came out real nice. Came out real nice. Oh, so, so frustrated. The GoPro, there's just a button on the top, you press it and it's meant to just start. To make sure that it's angled right, you connect it to the app. To connect it to the app, you have to change your phone's Wi-Fi to the GoPro, which is Wi-Fi. So you have to change that away from your internet to the GoPro Wi-Fi. When you then connect, it pops up and says, oh, you've got to sign in. You try and sign. To then connect to the GoPro, just to see that it was pointing in the right direction all along. But I'm pretty much... I'm pretty much going to end it there, mainly because I'm really tired from editing the vlog last night. I was up until half two. So yeah, more fun tomorrow. Hey look, I can make a GoPro paradox. So here's the app that it just keeps going on.